welcome to the Chronicle TV News Update. I'm Samantha Saucedo. And, uh, and I'm Aaron Tamez. Dallas SWAT teams responded to a shooting Tuesday morning near Victory Park. A gunman barricaded himself inside an apartment complex for more than two hours until police were able to take him into custody. Shots were heard, but no gun was found and no one was injured. The man responsible for the standoff is not facing any charges because of this possible mental state. A recent study released by the New America Foundation found that the median graduate student loan debt rose 43% in eight years. The overall debt of student loans is slightly more than $1 trillion, exceeding all other loans except mortgages. Even more astounding, 41% of the loans issued were for graduate loans. However, only 17% of students requesting loans were graduate students. The suspected reason is that students are finding it tough to find a full-time job after graduation and are therefore trying to go back to school in hopes of increasing job opportunities by completing a graduate degree. The U.S. Supreme Court heard oral arguments this week dealing with the Affordable Care Act and possible implications of the law's mandate requiring employers to provide contraceptives to their employees. Companies owned by families with strong religious beliefs such as Hobby Lobby's are balking at the law's mandate to cover certain methods of birth control that the families say can work after conception in violation of their religious beliefs. A ruling in this case is expected by late June. 25 years ago this week, Alaska's coastline saw an oil spill of historical proportion. The Exxon Valdez crashed into Bly Reef, spilling 11 million gallons of oil, causing damage to 1,300 miles of Alaskan coastline. While most of the oil has been sucked out of the water, environmentalists claim ecological effects continue even 25 years later. In response to the event, Exxon fired the captain of the Valdez and started using double-hulled tankers for safer drilling. Still, activists claim that the, regardless of the profit, the dependence of oil is not worth the risk. It's time for students to show their school spirit. 2014 Richland College Cheer Childs are approaching. A mandatory clinic will be held on Monday and Tuesday, April 14th and 15th, and tryouts are April 16th, all from 6 to 8 p.m. in Guadalupe Hall, E101. Candidates will be required to perform a cheer and a chant that will be taught on site, and a combination of three jumps. Tumbling skills can also be demonstrated. It's spring Spring cleaning time on the Richland campus. Students are pitching in to host the annual spring recycling roundup. Be sure and bring down your recyclables. Items being accepted include electronics, paper, plastic, styrofoam, metal, and even batteries. The roundup will be held at the Richland College parking lot on March 29th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Looking forward to the flowers and great weather that spring will bring, Chronicle TV's Aaron Tamez has a scoop on the best place in Dallas to see the blooms. February 22nd marked the 30th annual Dallas Blooms Festival. The Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Gardens is presenting a plethora of flowers that bloom from late winter through early spring. Senior Lauren White enjoyed photographing. All of the wild trees that you can't find anywhere else. Thousands of flowers are planted in what takes weeks of preparation. Tulips start a year ahead of time as they are shipped from Holland and cooled for six weeks before being planted. Um, I think the beauty is so magnificent. Nature is amazing. There's just a peace that is here from seeing the flowers, seeing the color, hearing the birds. It's just an amazing, calming, peaceful atmosphere that you can't really get in everyday life. This year's theme, Birds of Paradise, features two 13-foot peacock topiaries. Hundreds of employees and nearly a thousand volunteers create the exhibits of beaming life. Visiting from Indiana, Paul Capil shares. You know, Indianapolis does a flower and patio show, but it's inside. Can you imagine doing it outside like is done here? It's just an incredible experience. I think that it was a pleasant surprise. Hundreds of cherry blossoms will bloom mid-March amongst the thousands of flowers blooming throughout the festival ending April 6th. With KDEX TV, I'm Aaron Times. Volunteers have also helped local school districts with a little spring cleaning of their own. Chronicle TV's Kevin Mendez tells us more. In that
that's exactly what they did. Because these are the sounds of giving back to the community. Let me go ahead and do something productive with my Saturday. Ali Mazol is just one of many people who spent their Saturday morning at Lorenzo de Savala Elementary School doing some volunteer work for a great cause. Just being others minded, you know, just focusing on other, other people and helping other people, it brings me personally a lot of uh, satisfaction. So what exactly were some of the volunteer work that was done? A couple things. I helped organize some books in the library, in the classrooms, uh, scrub some of these tables down in the cafeteria so the kids have a nice clean place to eat and also just did some organizing boxes and inventory and uh, things like that. Kind of like the little things that um, typically people don't see but it's good to have. Painting and building equipment for kids were among some of the activities that volunteers were also able to accomplish. I'm the founder and chairman of the Dallas Autumn Ball. In order for volunteers to know where and how they can give back to the community, well, there's where someone like Adam Krause comes into play. Basically what we do is try to raise money and awareness for worthy educational causes that directly impact the city of Dallas and the children in Dallas. And we also try to engage a broader base of young adults to become active in the community. Reporting from Lorenzo de Savala Elementary School, Kevin Mendez, Richland Chronicle. Be sure to check out our website where you can see even more stories and news updates. From there, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter where you can listen to the new Chronicle podcast. Thank you for watching the Chronicle TV news update. I'm Samantha Salcido. And I'm Aaron Tamez. Have a great day, Richard.